ride downtown Austin, now lively. I just shared a cab with Jack, I think his name was, who is the agent of a pr producer, something about a, some important person about uh, one of the movies playing here tonight called Source Code, which I'm gonna have a look at. It's about um, a guy that within the last, a, like it's like a spy thing, who that guy can transfer his mind to someone else for the last eight minutes of his life. Kind of weird, kind of, yeah, I've got to have a look at it, sounds pretty cool. And he's an important person about that. The agent of the, I don't know what, I forgot what the person's role was. And now I'm in downtown Austin. No idea where exactly. Uh, looks cool. Ooh. And I have to find my way to the convention center. It's about noon, so I have another two hours to find out where to go first. Uh, it's busy, a lot of people with those badges around. I have no Let's, yeah, just walk around again. So when I came here yesterday, there was hardly anyone here, now the place is packed, so I'm glad I got my badge yesterday. And funny thing is that everybody, like literally everybody, <laughs> is on their iPhone, basically. Uh, there's no shortage of Macs around here. I can't help but laugh at that place, there's so many of me around. Now I got my wristband for the shuttle that I missed this morning. Well, kind of if it doesn't, if it's full it doesn't stop, so I took the cab instead. Um, about 1 o'clock in an hour the first event starts, I'm gonna have a look at Jason Calcanis interviewing Bill O'Reilly. They're both kind of important in my industry, but I don't really know why I think O'Reilly is like a publisher for development books. It's gonna be very geeky, very nerdy. Just gonna have a look at that first. After that it's Marissa Mayer from Google, who is gonna talk about something. I'm just going there for the name really. Wow, a lot of people here. Hi, I'm Hugh Forrest. I am the director of the South by Southwest Interactive Festival. Welcome to Spring in Austin. We are so honored and excited that so many of you have joined us to learn, network, be inspired, create, and celebrate the power of the international geek community. Yay. This is Jason Calcanis and Tim O'Reilly. He is a tireless uh, curator uh, and supporter of the new. He champions the people you don't know yet, but that you will know soon. Please join me in welcoming Tim O'Reilly. Actually, there's really only one thing that I'm good at, I think. And I could be wrong. Uh, I think I'm good, at, I'm reasonably good at pattern recognition. Keep uh, a trend a little and, bit. And, and like, I have some big ideas about the future and where it's going, and I see sort of uh, individual stories or people who kind of light up part of that future, you know, so I, you know, for whatever reason, like, say I have that, that idea about sensors, and then bang, I see that one, I see that one. Yeah, and it's so, always puzzled me when somebody so intelligent gets into politics because it's <laughs> so, many, so many stupid people who work so slowly and are, so, are not so innovative. Why do you want to work with all these people who are not innovative? Uh, first of all, let me uh, make a distinction between <laughs> politics and government. Yes. You know, you asked me over lunch, what would I do if I were running Microsoft? And I said, I think I'd do what Bill Gates did. I'd quit and go work on other more interesting problems. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy to be here today talking with all of you, and I'm excited to be here at South by Southwest. And I wanted to start with a show of hands. How many people already today have used maps on their phone? <laughs> Almost everyone. And part of that's probably because you're in an unfamiliar place. This is Google in the early days. This is when the company was just 38 people on University Avenue in downtown Palo Alto. And at that point, our focus was really on search, and search in the very early stages of the internet. Today, our focus still is on search, but what search can be is so much broader. But one of the really powerful things that's happening around the area of information and search is location. It's kind of hard filming all that because you never know what's going to come up, so what's worth filming actually. Uh, the first one was kind of pointless, the second one was about Google products, but was interesting enough. The third one uh, is a bit weird, so let's just, yeah, you just find out what that is about. Staying with different people and 
people, for various reasons, end up getting sexiled from their rooms. Sometimes they want to, sometimes they don't. Funny story, told by a friend. Hacker con, there's like five or six people staying in the hotel room. One of them's out, everyone's asleep. Guy comes home, he's scored. He brings the girl in, they get on the floor, they're in sleeping bag, there's rustling, there's sounds, there's more rustling, there's a, oh, my friend opens her eye, she closes it. More sounds, my friend opens both eyes, sees the other friend on the floor awake, and they both sort of stare at each other for a long minute, hearing the rustling and the, oh, and then suddenly the new person in the room says, stick it in my ass. <laughs> Southwest euphorians, pot. Um, and pot is, pots, you know, pot generally reduces libido. If you look on YouTube and you look for stoned sperm, it's awesome. They actually swim really slow. It's, uh, it's uh, the people who work in fertility clinics, man, are just the strangest, coolest people. If you did make a mistake, or you find out you were lied to, like the slide says, don't make them a four-square location. Don't take out your revenge on the internet. You are not the mayor of Cindy. <laughs> that was real fun. Like first, like comedy talk. I can't even say. I uh, just been there for the for the fun part of it. Um, well, yeah, you kind of could predict the audience, but a good good show. I'm gonna put some links down there so you can check some of her stuff out. She wrote some stories and all that. Uh, Violet Blue. Now I'm heading over to my first film event of the day, which is a movie called Source Code. I've been talking about it before. Jake asked me to come and direct it. <laughs> wow. I, I, I don't know. What? Um, am I supposed to answer that question? I just, the, the, just to explain that a little bit. Um, I actually, I went and met Jake in, in LA to discuss a film which I've been trying to make forever. And he said, you know, that sounds really fascinating. One day we might be able to do that. But right now, take a look at this. And he gave me the source code script. So that's how I got interested. And I, I thought it was fantastic. <laughs> awesome movie. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to check anything else out. Because everything else is already running. So, let's see where I'm going. <laughs>
it's always, it's, you know, it's going to stay diverse and undefined for maybe forever. And there was a um, press play, Paul, something like that. Uh, it's about how everybody is now able to produce and publish content and the old industries don't really apply anymore. Stuff like that always like inspires me and gets me down because on one hand they say, hey, everybody can do everything. And they also say like 90% of, of all people don't have any talent. Um, it was the last like, session, like event going on for today. There are a few parties um, when you're all by yourself just walking in there to a bunch of already drunk people. And that is awesome. Might try them the next few days, but for now, it was a very good first start. Now I'm just order tomorrow and everything starts at like half past nine tomorrow. It's a very short night, but we're going to see about the rest of South by South. Still can't say that. South by Southwest tomorrow. See ya.